Hi, this is Chris Glimpse and you're watching LoopTV.net. Hi, this is uh, Chris Glimpse and this is uh, a video about my new sample pack that's coming out on Loop Masters uh, called Found Sounds and Field Recordings. I record under Glimpse and have released on Crosstown Rebels, Planet E, Cocoon, um, and various other underground house and techno labels. Um, th basically, this pack was compiled over th a three year period from uh, places I've visited whilst on tour. Um, so, I mean, there's recordings from places like Mexico City, rainstorms outside the hotel, uh, there's waterfalls that I've been to see, the Sydney Birdcage, I think, is in here somewhere. Um, and basically, the, the whole idea of the pack was to compile an archive of sounds that can't really be made using soft synths or analog kit. The, 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 sound, the sonic information in the sounds is, is very, very broad, so you get extremely high noise, extremely low noises. Um, and if you know, if, if you're proficient with a filter or an EQ, um, you can really take the sort of the frequencies out that you want and filter out any unwanted low end frequencies and, and basically during this video I'm going to sort of show you how you can incorporate those in a track. Um, the, the important thing to realise is these sounds are not genre specific in any way. So they can be used in drum and bass, dubstep, house, techno, anything at all um, and they really really do enrich uh, the, the, the work that you're doing because you, you know you're actually bringing a human element into the track that cannot be uh, replicated in any other way and each recording is 100% individual so there is no other recording like it in the world um, and how you then treat that recording will then make that recording specific to you. Uh, looking at the pack a little in a little bit more detail it's split into Glitch and Crackle, which is basically sounds that I've recorded, uh, anything from cables, uh, dysfunctional cables and stuff like that, to sounds um, whilst like bits of equipment in here are sort of malfunctioning and getting feedback and things like that. Um, then there's a human a folder called Human. This is this kind of thing here, which um, kind of covers anything from people chatting in cafes. <coughs> like this kind of thing to children playing in the park Um, so there's quite a wide variety of sounds available um, and then there's another section called metal which is mainly recorded from train tracks, um, cut bits of cars, um, when bonnets are being opened, things like that, which are like this kind of thing. Now these, those sounds have been put through filters and delays and things like that just to give them a bit more texture and make them a little bit more interesting. Um, on the whole, most of the sounds have been slightly processed with compressors, uh, sidechain to kick drums and things like that, but obviously I've, I've tried to lay off that kind of thing as much as possible to leave the sounds open to interpretation by the, the actual user. Um, so that's basically a, a quick look at what's actually in the pack. Many producers use found sounds uh, from Burial, uh, Steve Reich, Forte, Caribou. It's, it's, it's something that really lends your production, production something that can't, can't be emulated in, in other ways. <clears throat> and also once you have those strips of audio, in a lot of cases the um, audio was taken using this M Audio recorder and some of the strips of audio were up to an hour long. So they're, they're massively open to interpretation um, and you can, you can take the sounds and turn them into anything. I mean, uh, uh, the sound of a little click you know, in the back of a cafe can turn into a kick drum or a hi-hat. Um, really, the skill in using these sounds is how, you, how proficient you are with compressors, EQs, delays, reverbs, and you can really, really make the sounds your own, like really put your own stamp, uh, your own identity into the sounds. 
So some examples of how I've processed the sounds within the pack. Um, I'm just going to show you basically just with one field recording um, the kind of the way I might manipulate this sound um, or the way I might interpret this sound uh, for a track that I might be working on. So this is the sound completely dry. And this is a recording just, I think it's made on Goldhawk Road Tube Station on the platform too. So uh, this is a pretty generic kind of uh, field recording. And, and you can hear when you listen to it, there's lots of high, very high end, there's lots of very low end. You can hear little bits of people talking, there's little pops and clicks. All this information though, while, when you actually look at the waveform, might look completely irregular. Um, it can all be utilized if, you, if, if, if it's done correctly. So um, for example, this sound here, you can put filters on. And you can take the whole of the top end off, and that could that could be a fantastic kind of texture to put under a bass line, just to glue a track together, to side chain it through. So you can really mani manipulate them. You can turn you can turn the sounds into kind of like almost like acid sounds, like this. Um, I've also d used a ring modulator on a lot of the sounds to get this kind of almost like a sort of oscillator. So you can kind of basically build these sounds into anything you want. I mean, you can turn them into pads, you can turn them into acid noises, you can turn them into just textures and fuzzes and things like that. Just things to kind of really bring your track to life.